Hello everyone, I'm Roy Consulta. For my part, I'm gonna present to you the case of Kraft Foods Australia, why the company is continuously being the forefront of, in terms of consumer products with the help of data analytics. To give you a little bit of company's background, Kraft Foods Australia was established in 1926. Kraft Foods Australia is a subsidiary of Kraft Foods which is based in Illinois, the second largest branded food and beverages company in the world. Kraft Australia is based in Melbourne and has sales revenue of 650 million Australian dollar. The company's flagship brand, Vegemite, has long been considered an Australian national icon. They focus on continually improving the business function that are critical to the consumer product business model from maintaining vibrant and uh, driven product development to having efficient manufacturing in a lean flexible supply chain before the organization has its flat hierarchy wherein each department reported directly to the president and ceo but the new and improved organizational chart was implemented lately by Mondale international its line of products like biscuits chocolate gum and candy and beverages cheese and grocery habits operation and business marketing research and development and quality services as well as corporate and legal affairs and global human resources services because of data analytics simon talbot head of corporate affairs of Grab australia and new zealand said that the work they did with ibm fundamentally changed their business strategy and how they look at their own brand so why the need for business analytics or data analytics with Australian demographics changing Kraft Australia saw the need to change its long-time branding campaign for its much-loved Vegemite products to get it right Kraft needed a deeper and more insightful view of how consumers viewed and used Vegemite that it could rely on to tailor its branding message. So what is Kraft's solution? Kraft Australia engaged IBM to provide its leading edge tool for corporate brand and reputation analysis, we call it COBRA, to conduct a pioneer study of its customer base. The solution reaches out to millions of sources of user-generated con content to paint a fresh picture of what its customers are thinking and saying. Brand image and reputation are paramount to corporations, especially consumer-facing companies. It is extremely easy for, the, for a brand to become tarnished or negatively associated with the social, environmental, or industry issues. So Cobra is an automated way to monitor the electronic grapevine or the spoken communications daily. This solution uses advanced text and data analytics to mine and interpret the massive, diverse content of social media as well as internal corporate information. So based from the lecture last week, we need to utilize a useful tool for working out how the company can create the greatest possible value for the customers. Value chain analysis is a process where a firm identifies its primary and support activities that add value to its final product and then analyze these activities to reduce cost or increase differentiation. So with this respect, value chain represents the internal activities a firm engages in when transforming inputs into outputs. As it is shown in the screen, Craft Australia have its VCA, the value chain analysis from human resources to technological development to process to outbound and inbound logistics, marketing and sales, including the service in communicating with the clients and customers. The slide shows you the opportunities identified by Crafts Australia to some extent that it will lead us to the analytics solution implementation process flow. The opportunities are acquisition of Cadbury gives an opportunity to increase reach in developing countries like uh, the Philippines. Number two, acquisition of competition. Then the product line extension with launch of pet products. Number four, growing markets and changing lifestyle of consumers in developing economies such as the Philippines means more income. So 
given the key benefits of the data analytics and data mining strategy, it gives us the ability to identify market opportunities at a very early stage. It also gives us the ability to detect and respond to threats to crops, brands, and uh, corporate reputation. And lastly, it increases sales and consumer loyalty through more targeted brand advertising campaigns. As a consumer-based company, the following are the strengths of Kraft Foods Australia. Number one, a globally recognized brand. Then, diverse product range, including confectionery, dairy products, cheese, beverages, other food products. Then, market leader in confectionery segments, a strong supply chain network, and then presence in more than 70 countries. In the interest of time, the slide enumerates weaknesses of Kraft Food Australia, one of which is the tough competition means brand switching is high. Again, because of limited time, these are the threats identified by the company. At this point, I still have lots of things to be done and identified like the specific business criteria, cost and benefit of Kraft Australia, including project plan. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po.